Now, if you've ever been shopping online for a new phone on Amazon or eBay, and you have seen phone described as GSM only or international phones, in this video, I will explain what does that mean. Also, we're going to provide tests. We're going to bring three different SIM cards. Each SIM card belongs to a carrier. We're going to have AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon. And we have the Samsung Galaxy A24, which is international version. We're going to test these SIM cards just to see which SIM card will work and it doesn't give you problems and which SIM card is not going to work. So make sure to subscribe to Variety Stick if you're having. Give me a thumbs up. And without any further ado, let's find out. Now, if you've ever been interested to purchase a specific phone as international version or GSM only, maybe you're going to bring it overseas and you want to use it here in the U.S. Now, before you buy, make sure to read the description because most of the seller will tell you what network will be compatible the most for the phone. If it's GSM, meaning global system for mobile, it will be more of international phone, works overseas, but in the U.S., the carrier has specific frequency. Now, sometimes the international phone don't work good here in the USA. Now, for that reason, I have three different SIM cards. The first one we have, it's Verizon SIM card. So we're going to test this SIM card on this phone, see what happens. And also, I have active AT&T through Net10. It's not like directly through AT&T, but it's AT&T. It's MVNO. But 100% working with no issues as you guys can see I have tested it so I don't have a problem and this is a pixel phone pixel uh, basically compatible with any US carrier and I have a T-Mobile SIM card on this Galaxy phone and this SIM card belong to Simple Mobile it's T-Mobile MVNO the same thing but it should work the same Think. Now first I'm going to start with T-Mobile. Let me go ahead and uh, remove the SIM card and as you guys can see this phone is working. I have no issue whatsoever and this is a US model of the Galaxy 821. Let's go ahead and remove the SIM card and insert the SIM card on the international phone just to see what's going to happen. Now, most of the international phone comes with two different SIM cards. I would highly recommend if you want to use only one SIM card to put it in SIM number one, which is the primary SIM card for the phone. So let's go ahead and insert the SIM card and see what happens. Sometimes the phone might ask me for restart. Sometimes it doesn't ask me to restart, but let's wait and see. Now the phone is going to show us that the SIM number one is active and also we can check the APN settings just to make sure everything is good. But it looks like we have LTE and by the way this is not a 5G phone so very normal to pick up LTE. Now let's go ahead and make a test call. Let's call 611. Now the phone is working. Let's go ahead and check the internet just to see if the internet is going to work. And the internet is working. So as described, this phone is international GSM and T-Mobile is a GSM carrier here in the US. So I don't think so you're going to have any issue if you have the same model. I always recommend to read everything because this phone, for example, came from Middle East. So this belong to a different region. Maybe you're going to buy a phone from North America, so it's going to be also another region. Just want to pay your attention about this point. Now let's go ahead and test AT&T SIM card, which is we have the SIM card on the Pixel, and it work with no any issue. Let's go ahead and test it out and see what happens. Now I will inject the SIM card, T-Mobile SIM card, which is works fine with no issues. And let's see if AT&T is going to do the same thing. We're going to use SIM number one, which is what I would highly recommend. I have already inserted the SIM card. Now the phone's going to 
refresh and let's see what's happening the phone still says no service with AT&T SIM card even the AT&T also works on the GSM system so supposed to work that because this phone belonged to a different region maybe GSM here different than GSM in another region that's why you always have to read and make sure the phone is 100% compatible now it shows that the SIM number one is active on the phone uh, but still I don't see any signs so for that reason I'm gonna go ahead and just reboot the phone see if it will do anything now after rebooting the phone we still have no signal so the phone is still not working it was working fine in the pixel phone I didn't have any issue whatsoever so let's wait more and see if we're gonna get the signal or or if we're gonna get the bars or not there we go so we start getting some bars over here but these are fake bars because the phone says emergency only now also I have done off the camera to go to APN settings just make sure we have the right settings and it doesn't look this help also I made network reset and this also didn't help to fix the issue so this international phone even that described GSM only it did not work on AT&T so check the seller if they say AT&T they should guarantee it should work to AT&T but this specific model did not work for AT&T now let's go ahead inject this SIM card and try a Verizon SIM card now I'm gonna use this Verizon SIM card over here let's go ahead and see what's gonna happen now as you guys can see we have bars and we have sim number one is active and we have 4g lte as you guys can see over here now if we call 611 let's see if the phone's going to make phone calls so the phone is making phone calls calling customer service but let me tell you what i did uh, off the camera I check the IMEI number of the phone on Verizon website and Verizon declined the IMEI number so it means I cannot activate this IMEI number now if I decide just to swap SIM card from one phone to another there is a chance that the phone will work only in a specific area so it will be partially working and sometimes you're not gonna get no signal or whatsoever that because Verizon used the CDMA system not the GSM system now what we can learn from this video, if you live in the US, I would highly recommend to buy a phone from the US to be 100% compatible with the network here. International phone, maybe if you buy one from overseas, you can test SIM card and try to check with the carrier to see if the IMEI number is compatible before you even purchase the service. Just to avoid you spend extra money on the phone because US they use completely different network and they have different frequency than overseas. I wish you guys find this video helpful. If it did thumbs up and subscribe for more videos here on Variety Stick. Thank you so much for watching. As always we will talk to you in the next video. Let's go. Yeah I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet Lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, gotta